thank you to given this opportunities to interact about the very key uh, issue of our country with the financial inclusion financial inclusion is a very important uh, factors for our country economy i am as a banker i started my journey from micro credit i gave the one of uh, the case to you uh, there is a customer of bandhan bank is the name of the tuli vishwas uh, she is living very near to, to the city and uh, she is a fully housewife her husband is a daily laborer and 2009 i have been uh, recall the day, uh, year of that and once upon a day they have come to us and that the, they would like to buy the two cows they are asking the 10000 rupees as a loan and which we have given in the 2009 uh, two cows and they are basically the women the tuli bishas are nurturing these the cows and selling the milks in the nearby of the city of calcutta and good revenue is coming on that after that her husband also joined with her and growing on that i am surprised on that after 12 years this the family have been now 32 cows and buffalo and they are selling the milk to the city till now and all these the cows and buffaloes the price is now 15 lakhs and uh, they are earning 32 lakhs in a year they employed in the five people and each of the people except the one are getting 15000 rupees per month and both are full time involved on this the business and one person has been received that the 72000 per month who are managing the total dairy and the vaccination to the cows and the uh, treatment of the cows and uh, the market everything controlled by that that person and you see that this is the how the change of the life and their two children are now going to school and they have uh, that full insurance of their cattle and also insurance their family members and after the bank when i become a bank on uh, bandhan has become a bank and they are open the savings account earlier they have the loan only they are now depositing money to the savings account for future even the fixed deposit i am mentioning in here this is then called the financial inclusion who are under privileged who are under poverty they are started with a credit and self reliant and they are also access to get to the financial services they have the savings account and they are also deposit their money they are also insurance facilities all together we say that this the family are financially included lots of these families i can say that the minimum 50% of the family in our country like this is a tuli vishesh so if we like to capture them within a financial services to give the access of financial services to them in easy way in their uh, the comfort i hope that that is a need for our country financial inclusion next my point on that why financial inclusion is needed yes one point is a clear we like to capture the tuli vishesh the people on that second point on that we are feel proud about our country that we are the seventh largest economy in the world and we are like to go to the third largest economy of the world so as of today if we see that the third uh, seventh largest economy in in the world 
who are the nearby nearby country in the france italy uk these are all but if i go to this that human development index in our country we are ranked 129th and who are nearby zimbabwe namibia not in a uk france and italy why why we are not in a human development index we are going to nearby of this the europe country the one point i like to mention in here the how the calculate of the human development index so three big parameter which is one is the per capita income health and the education so our rank as a hdi per capita income is 122 and education 132 and health is a 30 135 so until the per capita income is not increase in our country so our human development index will be not like to improve if i go to the tuli vishesh she is now able to spend the money for help but for good health of their family and good education for their children so if income is come good the so automatically it will be go to the invest of the health and education so very key factors how we can be increase the income of the large number of people like the tuli vishesh the people why we are not doing on that yes as per seventh economy we are the big amount but not equally distributed this wealth to the across the country so this is in two methodology in 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 the world one methodology say that trickle down approach if we make a industry then automatically people will get the job and their per capita income will increase another way on that which we talk about the tuli vishas trickle up approach large number of people we can be like to capture to provide the financial inclusion or access the financial services and they are everyone individually increase their income then automatically total country per capita income will increase and that will be more sustainable in the long run we see that if any industry will be stopped today the many of the people are unemployed but if i go to this the tuli business case that he has given that the 15 people or five people as an as an employment and they are also income increase in a 15000 rupees per month so they this we we like to focus on that how we can increase the large number of people will get the financial services access the first is a credit to increase their income if large number of people's income increase automatically top level economy will be grow we given the another example we are very nearby the small country name in bangladesh we saw that in the last couple of days before one of the news has come their per capita income is in 2200 us dollar but indian india per capita income 1900 us dollar we are below why we can see that the what they are taken the steps they are actually the bangladesh is in by bond as a micro credit service provided to the entire gen, uh, uh, people on that and so that they are contributed 2% of the gdp by micro credit industry so that will be the big contributor to the per capita income increase and second when this income has come their children also study good and they have the very good industry of the garments and their maximum women are getting the job in there and women normally in our this subcontinent 
our people are not the productive they are only involved in the in the family job on that so if you see this sense if you see that the 50% of the population are not coming to this the economy to income their uh, 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 family so that is an that is a big loss of the loss of the country so there are large number of people or the women are working in the garments industry and husband also working in the other side and automatically their per capita income is increasing on that so finally i feel that financial inclusion is a very big role and key role playing by the micro credit organization to provide the micro credit service to the people so these are the these are the um, if i say that the the who can be do and for whom we can do for whom means the who are financially excluded financially excluded first to the one point i say that the the low income people they are financially excluded and second is there the women are financially excluded compared to the men and indian perspective rural people are more financially excluded so we'll be like to target on that the low income family women and the rural people some of the geography also we can be like to consider who are target for financial inclusion program next my point to the who can do it my my point on that the yes india have that the the role can be play by central government and state government together central government can play a role to make a policy framework but they have not in the last mile connectivity so until the last mile connectivity will not happen so financial inclusion will be not helpful for the country so in that sense they can make the policy they can make the budget they can make some of the organization for financial literacy program then coming to this the state state government will be play a very key role to implement the financial inclusion policy because they have the last mile connectivity they have that the infrastructure and they have the health care infrastructure no they have the many of the things on that they have the people they can do it on that so key role play by the state government because our country have the 36 states and union territory and different states have the different types of culture and values and it can be adapted by the state government how it can be like to fit and run this the final shell inclusion for the large number of people next my point on that we will be like to believe on that final shell inclusion is not a charitable job if it is a charitable job it cannot be sustained in the long run charitable job can be one time can be like to do but it cannot be do in a long run and it cannot be sustainable so we'll be keep in mind on that government will be like to work together with the private sector especially in micro credit organization small finance bank and the some commercial banks together to make a plan and especially their private entity who are ser- financial service provider in our country join together to make a plan and drive the business way then it can be sustainable in future and people also will be get the final shell excluded will be come down and they will become final shell inclusion again my one point to mention in here so what is the first point we will be like to address we will be first like to address the people to make a model which is final shell viable to reach the people give the financial literacy first 
when they are financially aware about it and give the access of the financial services. What types of access of financial services? It can be decided area to area. As per my experience, I feel that the first is the need to address on that. So what is the, what is the need of these people to start a business or easy doing business, how the financial institution can help them. This type of people who are financially excluded, there is not any big help to, for them to open the account and for savings account. I feel that they have first need on that to give the credit. And when their income will come, then they will be like to convert as a savings account and have it developed as a savings. And they will be get the access, other all financial services and that machineries will be available in the rural, in the low income people and product will be designed accordingly. Finally, my suggestion, couple of things on that. All these things will be like to work together. The government and the private sector come together, assess the need of these people and prepare a very simple product and services. How we can be reached to them and to offer this product and services. If I give the another example on that. In our country, microcredit industry, they are now reached to this, the nearly six crores families out of 26 crore family in the country. And this, we can say that the six crore family, if they are generated one employment for country, so they can be like to add it. another six crore people are are getting the job from that. And they are providing the credit and that credit return back is a very good repayment capacity, a repayment quality. So I feel that is a need to encourage this type of microcredit organization and others to scale more in rural and semi-urban areas and reach to more low income families only request in the second step on that, the government only give the enabling environment where they can be work very comfortably. My meaning on that, the people will be like to take the loan and repay to the lenders. That environment will be created positive and encourage the people to repay regularly that can be helped their quality of the profile of this customer and future they will not face any problem if they have a need in a credit. So otherwise, if a lender is not encouraged, if a lender is, is in feel that the uncomfort because of the non repayment to the people and environment is not favorable, so this financial inclusion cannot be like to reach more people and it will not help to the country to, uh, to reduce the financially excluded people. And they will be go to the money lenders and which money lenders will be asked the very high interest rate, even the 10% per month. And they will be like to again come to the more of the poor and poor and poor and ultimately they will die. So financial objective on that, the big role of the government to create the enabling environment where the repayment environment will be like to very good. And so that the, the lenders will be like to reach more people and automatically savings account will come, savings habit will increase, insurance benefit also they will be like to understand and they get go to this, the, um, the take these opportunities on that, then also very helpful on that. So finally, I give the one example of Bandhan. We are started in year 2000 and now is a 20, 
uh, uh, years on that as a microfinance and the bank and 2.3 crores customer. And we reached in the, across the all states and all these customers are now financially included. And this is the people are also very good credit track record. And they are also, you no, know, get the access of the more credit. Now they are access to the banking services. So I have that that is possible in our country to scale in a simple way to reach to the more of the people and more of the different uh, uh, corner of the country, which can be helped on that to, to uh, the financial inclusion will be success and reach to this the economy. Even, even the third largest economy in the world is not a problem. But if we not can give to this the financial inclusion properly to those people, this is a challenge for our country to increase the per capita income. And we cannot compete in a small country. So I hope that the government, private, central government, state government, all together, we can make a good plan, good budget, and drive on that with the help of the state government tie up with the state government and a couple of private lenders together and make a good plan how we can be reached to the every corner of the state and provide these the financial services to them gradually, first credit, then savings, then insurance. I hope that in the next five to 10 years, we can be like to increase that per capita income more than any country of the subcontinent of that. And this is my one humble request to all of you on that. So we are ready as a bank, work together with the state government, central government, all other uh, lenders and the financial institution who are formally working in the country and jointly work. And we are committed to work on that financial inclusion. Thank you to all of you to given these opportunities. Namaskar. No,